know that I was frustrated that ESPN wasn't finding an outlet to like like show the community, right? I didn't understand. I didn't understand why someone couldn't go negotiate a deal with Taco Bell or Mountain Dew and mm -hmm. say, "Listen, you're gonna you're gonna sponsor the community initiative, right? So like your sponsorship dollar is gonna go to help fund uh, a, a showcase of the inside." Of, right like what you have the inside of NFL so why can't you have the inside of, uh, of freestyle rollerblading why can't yeah. you have the inside of skateboarding and like like have it as a sponsored thing and like like showcase these are the badass companies right mm -hmm. like here's the companies behind the scene mm -hmm. because what was happening was uh, ESPN sure would throw up the contest throw up some of the prize money but it was still all the companies funding the riders right so like you know the companies had to pay for the riders to get there they had to cover the hotel costs. They had to cover the airline costs. So, so there was a, a contribution coming from within the industry, and why it wasn't being recognized or in any way like celebrated, pissed me off. Like it just pissed me off. Um, and so I was like, okay, we got to figure out a way to like showcase, like us. Yeah. You know. So I came up with the diversity tour. And so the diversity tour representing the diversity of all of us. And I was, uh, I was really determined to, um, you know. Uh, showcase not only rolling but culture like the culture our artists uh, uh, our musicians and uh, you know and 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 our you know v cinematographers and and you know like yeah, there's the so talent, much more there's so, so much, much talent, more right yeah. and without all those components there's no culture all we're doing is sitting talking tricks right mm -hmm. so there comes a point where you know we, we, as much as you want to be like, dude, I'm such a rollerblader, man. 24-7, I, well, yeah. right? Like, <clears throat> give me a break. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, because life, life is a little bit deeper than that. Mm -hmm. And uh, if, we don't, if we don't grasp uh, the, the, the good and solid, like, real, real elements within all of us, like, uh, there's, there's artists that happen to rollerblade, right? Like, Jeremy Bidal is a, a prime example. He's a brilliant artist mm -hmm. who happens to love rollerblade. Mm -hmm. And he he's a badass rollerblader too, right? Mm -hmm. uh, there's a I'm, I'm more, there, I could I could keep listening. I've got several artists that I've been blessed with uh, to to help and contribute and collaborate with uh, with our with our new mission here with 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 the Birth Brand, and they also are just amazing badass artists. But they rollerblade, mm -hmm. right? They love rollerblading. We have guys who are just like, like like Ray Ray Mendez, man. This dude is like you know he, he's helping me on the back end. He's business savvy. He's like set up these great skate programs for kids, uh, you know. And he's a badass mm -hmm. cinematographer. He'll mm -hmm. edit the hell out of mm -hmm. something. But he rollerblades, mm -hmm. okay. And like look at look at Dylan Cooper. Yeah, Dylan yeah. Cooper. Holy shit! Mm -hmm. Like yeah. this kid is so like talented. blowing up, badass. Uh, you know, like rap rapper in the game like throwing down his name with rollerblades yeah. right like that is what i was like fighting for was like that was like diversity here mm -hmm. comes diversity right mm -hmm. i set up stages i invited b-boys i had djs i had threw up canvases i provided spray paint provided art tools you know and and then brought in skating you know and really just wanted to see the community like grow and foster more than just skating <clears throat> right sure. i brought my drum set out yeah. like here kid yeah. here's some drumsticks <laughs> bang mm -hmm. you know your mom wouldn't let you because it's annoying but here <laughs> who gives a shit yeah, yeah, annoying, yeah. that's yeah. awesome right like um so that was really my my driving factor and at the same time i wanted to bring the brands with us the ones who were really doing the heart and soul picking up all the skater owned brands throwing them on the poster promoting them handing out their 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 uh their, their giveaways and, and, and goodies, you know, and, and just showcase us, right? Just have a fun, fun-ass time rollerblading, showcasing our culture. Um, Did you fund this yourself? Uh, or you had sponsors backing it? I had, so I, now in, uh, in, in 99, I went to ASA, okay? Right. So I was like, listen, let me, let me go around and do the, uh, all the, because there was, uh, uh, at that time, there was the, the amateur competition series. That and was, they had stops all over the country, Yeah, right? there, there yeah. were stops everywhere. So I was like, I'm going to back with your stops. I'll go with two your stops. I'll set up this thing, and then we'll, uh, we'll back the series as it rolls into the finals. Um, so we, uh, we did it. But then they weren't letting me uh, promote the companies. And so I was making my way through the year, and I was trying, like, I was kind of like back ending it. 
Um, so you were saying like ASA was sponsoring the the like you to go on the tour, but they weren't letting you promote the company like Birth and stuff. Yeah, like? right. It's like ASA yeah. was like all of a sudden doing the exact same thing to me that I was pissed off at ESPN for doing. Hmm. So it was like you know, like like all of a sudden uh, like slim like i couldn't it couldn't be the slim jim diversity tour like pushing this it was just like it was they 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 tried to make it more like the diversity (coughs) tour doing the asa stops right and the just only asa's corporate sponsors and that was it i was like guys man this isn't what we talked about like i i uh, like that's not diverse mm-hmm. that's not diverse at all we're yeah. back to just being like hey dude i'm a rollerblader 24 yeah, 7 like yeah. like like that's this is not what we were talking about like mm-hmm. what the f- you know and uh at the end of the year they got pissed at me because i back ended it and you know of course I, I i i broke my contract by doing that but i didn't you know i was like whatever man uh, if, if you guys don't want to like play by these rules then i don't want to play so i'm gonna take my diversity tour it was good. It was fun, and now that I see you for what you are, I'm I'm out of here. I'm gonna go continue my diversity tour. Then the asshole said, "Well, you can't take the name diversity." I'm like, "Get the fuck <laughs> out of here!" <laughs> like, okay, here we go. Here we go with this shit. Mm-hmm. Like, okay, really awesome. Way to go, ASA. Way to be like skater friendly and yeah, skater yeah. owned. The and, opposite. You know, like, yeah, right. I thought we were an association. I mm-hmm. thought we were about us. So, mm-hmm. so then I got pissed at ASA. So now, like, I just like dedicated like my last like five years to ASA and like didn't do the NIST tour and like. And like, and now it's like evolved to this. Like, money is just like a nasty, nasty shit. So, mm-hmm. um, I was like, uh, I don't need it. Then I'll do the D tour. Mm-hmm. So then I did the D tour. I was like, let's go around your asses. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, no problem. You don't want to steal my shit. Yeah. Detour your ass. Same concept. <laughs> Exact same concept, and then I I pumped the hell out of the industry, mm-hmm. and that I ended up having to fund uh, mostly on my own and just burn through my wallet. But it was it was well worth it. I had I, for some reason I had this like like thing in my head that if if I if we didn't make it to the new millennium, we weren't going to make it. I don't know why. <coughs> was there a doubt at so that? So this point? was like ninety nine as well. Yeah, right? <clears throat> there was a. Um, there was like a collapse. There was like the you could feel the the uh, the industry was like it was collapsing. Like it, like yeah, because there was this influx. There was this influx of uh, of all these companies because of ESPN. Right now we're a multi billion dollar industry. Like holy shit, inlines, woo! Everybody yeah. jump on, man. Yeah. So in comes Nike, Fila, Reebok, right, yeah, you yeah. know Solomon. K2, like everybody at once in 98, man, and they were just like, we're getting a piece of this pie. And like, they come rushing in, they rushed in so hard, produced so many skates that like, they, they, the timing they just was flooded wrong. it, right? Dude, the peak, yeah. they were, we were at the peak. Mm-hmm. And so you came in at the peak, you didn't come in like when it, when we could have used you. Mm-hmm. You came in at the peak to steal the fucking yeah. crust. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, mm-hmm. you came in just to like, take the rest of it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, and it, it saturated the shit out of the market. Like, we were, we were saturated. There, there was more skates than there were human beings on the planet at one point. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, like, a, a, like, probably not literally, but damn yeah, near, right? Like, there was lot. just more skates. Yeah. Definitely, there was definitely more skates than people and, and, skating than warehouses sure. than people willing to buy them. Yeah. Okay, like that's a yeah, solid statement. Sure. There was more skates and warehouses than people willing to buy them. Mm-hmm. And when this happened, it just like you could feel it. You could feel it. And it, it, you could start feeling the pressure. And then this is when then like rollerblades not giving any money to ESPN. We're no longer involved in, in, in the X games. Like we're starting to come out. So then I felt this really great pressure to like, dude, we got to just roll us into the new, new millennium. Just get us into the new millennium and we'll be okay. Like, I don't know why I felt that way, but that's just the way I felt, you mm-hmm. know? So that was my internal mission. Then I was like, just, just get us to the new millennium. Mm-hmm. And if we can just break that 2000 mark and, present ourselves into the new millennium, then we'll be there. Mm-hmm. And then I don't know, you know, whatever. Yeah. You know, I don't know if that means anything or it doesn't mean anything, but it meant something to me. Right. All right. So I, uh, I, so you're doing this thing for like three years, you know, right. you, it goes I'm from, in 98, it goes from birth tour, uh, 98, it goes to diversity tour, 99. Yep. Um, then 2000, you're, you're doing detour. Yep. You're funding it yourself. Yep. You're going around. Um, was there a point, where it's like becoming too much and it's it's just not sustaining you're pumping in too much money you're seeing that not enough's coming back and like there it, <clears throat> it, it definitely it, it ran my bank account out but it, sure. but I made it right like I made it so like I did it I was like okay cool I did it mm-hmm. where it's 2000 we mm-hmm. we did it mm-hmm. uh, I just like made it to the 100 freaking skate parks across the country yeah. I just like handed uh, like thousands and thousands of kids uh, 
introduce them to the heart and soul of what we did. Here's all of our companies. Mm -hmm. These are the cool companies. Like I didn't have it's very grassroots, very grassroots. Yeah, like I was like, grassroots I was like here, man, like yeah. welcome to rollerblading. This mm -hmm. is the heart and soul of rollerblading. And that was my mission. Like, just like, let me show you the, like the cool shit. Mm -hmm. Wait, so how, how did you do that? Exactly. Did you organize stops at like malls and stuff? I like just that went to, I went to, I went to skate shops and skate parks. Okay. You know, I and just, people knew you were coming. So at the, they knew at the time, at the time in, in 2000, they were still there. Right. Yeah, like, they, sure. different they, day. like the decline was coming, but they were still there. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. Like they hadn't, no one, it wasn't a complete washout yet. The washout, it was the wash out was beginning, mm -hmm. you know, and that's why it got really dark. It got really dark in the beginning of the 2000s because all of a sudden we were out of the X games, shops started closing. So there was a, that dark moment in, in, in our existence, you know, where it just like, it felt like the lights were out, but you mm -hmm. know, like I, uh, uh, I, it's, you know, I often like just have this little thing in my head, like, man, I feel like they keep telling me that I'm dead, but I find myself breathing. 